But you know what wasn't a disaster? What's that? That uh, NXT show. No. It was a... Uh... Well, one part was. If I hear one more person on my Twitter talk about how much they love supernatural gobbledygook and goo, you know what I'm going to do to you? Nothing. But I don't want to hear it. <laughs> they did the stupidest finish. Should I just get the stupid stuff out of the way first? Yes, yes. yes. This stupid, absolutely stupid Isla Dawn Alba Fire match it was so stupid because they actually wrestled and it was good. So how stupid was it? And then Alba Fire goes for her senton, which is a senton, even if you do it Jeff Hardy's way. I don't like these newfangled words. She goes for a senton, and you see Isla Dawn is a witch. She can do magic. Oh, ow. So what she did was she laid on that mat and she looked up. She looked up in the air, and she saw her opponent on the top rope. Now, let me quiz all you nerds that didn't listen to the Brian Vinny show last night and have already heard this. If you you were a witch, and you were laying on your back, and someone was on the top rope, and they were going to jump off and crush you, what would you do? Well, what you'd do is you'd use your magic on that person. You'd cause them to fall off the top rope or whatever. Not Isla Dawn. This witch decided, you know what? I'm going to make the ref vomit. She's an exhibitionist witch. So when this person comes off the top and they crush my ribs and stop my heart and break me asunder, well, at least a ref won't be able to count. That's what went through this witch's mind. A flair for the dramatic, maybe. Stupid is what it was. Then this ref starts vomiting. He starts spewing black goo out of his mouth. He falls down. He's dying. And you know what they're worried about? What's that? Someone's got to count. Well. So they send another ref down to count a near fall. Booker T's screaming, bro, somebody help that ref. He's having a medical emergency. <laughs> black tar is coming out of his mouth. <laughs> then the, then the, the fans, are. they see how stupid this is. They start can- chanting, help the ref. No one's helping this ref. Yeah, that's bad. That's this was bad. so unbelievably stupid. And then I have to have a bunch of idiots on my Twitter talking about how great supernatural stuff is in wrestling. Dude, go play Dungeons and Dragons or whatever you nerds do nowadays. Get out of my wrestling. <laughs> Listen, you guys ever think about what wrestling is? We talked about this for years. It's, it's people in their underwear pretending to fight. Simulated okay? sport is what it it's should be. It's dumb but... enough as it is. Well. We don't have to make it dumber by adding magic. God. So this was stupid. Who cares who won? It doesn't matter. You know, I mentioned how stupid my timeline is. These people tell me this old Undertaker stuff was awesome at the time. My oh, 13-year-old buddy thought it was great. No. Hey, you know what I thought was cool? 13? Like a yeah. lot of stupid stuff, like GoBots. Yeah. I ain't playing with GoBots. I'm a grown ass man now. I think even at like 13, but I listen, thought like, you know. I got a point here. Samantha Fox was hot. You, you ever, know. uh, you ever, yeah, that's the kind of thing I was watching. Get different hobbies, kids. Not, not, uh, voodoo. But anyway, you know, we have a subscription area, wrestlingobserver.com. Yes. You can get 14,000 archived podcasts, every show we've ever done dating back to 1995. And you can also get thousands of issues of The Observer. Pretty much every Observer dating back to, like, 1990 is archived. So, you know, if you wanted to... Oh, oh, if you wanted to go back and read the review of Royal Rumble 1994, where Yokozuna beat The Undertaker in a casket match when about 85 guys interfered, and then when it was over, The Undertaker levitated. He rose to heaven out of the casket. You guys remember that? Should we go back and see how cool that was at the time? Mm. Oh, I'd be happy to. Vince's teddy bear. Now, some of you are going to say, well, who cares what Dave thought? Well, well, Dave Dave actually gave it a star, which is more than I'd give it. But forget Dave. You realize he does a poll for all of these shows. Hmm. Royal Rumble 1994. Uh, thumbs up, 27%. Thumbs down, 65.2%. People didn't like that show. And then, of course, let's look at the uh, the worst match poll. 
Oh, running away with it in a landslide. Undertaker versus Yokozuna. 227 votes. Second place was the Royal Rumble. People didn't like a tie. Because that was new at the time. And then we got Tatanka versus Bigelow. That sounds like it was bad. And Razor Ramon versus IRS in third and fourth place. They had so many matches that. Ian Sal Sincere, just all of those names from that time. If you lived in the Northeast, my God, you got a lot of You saw them a lot. I'm sure that Tatanka Bigelow match happened in Jersey at least 14 times. So don't sit here and tell me that this voodoo garbage is cool. Because it was great when The Undertaker used to do it. No, it Actually, wasn't. it wasn't. It was no. largely hated every single time. And then when Undertaker started having awesome matches at WrestleMania, then we're talking. Voodoo anything is usually bad. You know what I mean? You know, Rasta the Voodoo Man. and uh, Well, actually, he wasn't too bad. But then you had, like, Papa Shango with black goo, and that wasn't any good. You know, that, that was terrible. When, when have we ever had good supernatural in pro wrestling? When has it ever worked? Well, it's never actually worked. I mean, people have tried. Oh, well, when people, it, when people cheered when lightning happened? struck. Well, of course they cheered when lightning struck. If you go to a show and lightning comes out of the ceiling and lights a fire on the of course you're going to cheer. Yes, people are going to pop. You saw fire. It's like ring entrances, for heaven's sake. You know sake. what else you'd, you'd pop for? If you were watching an Undertaker match. <laughs> Say, fireworks, we do this every July 4th. Why do we do them? We like exploding things and go, yeah! If you had an Undertaker match and, and Kane tore off all of the Undertaker's clothes so he's completely naked... Midian. People would be making a lot of noise, too. Doesn't mean that, like, oh, what a pop that got. Let's strip more dudes nude. That must be the secret, because people always react. When you strip someone nude, of course they react. Doesn't mean it's any good. Doesn't mean we actually want to see a nude Undertaker running around.